One of the big stories in the country right now is obviously the indictment of Paul Manafort, President Trump's former campaign manager. And somehow, one of New York's more obscure characters found himself in the tail. Will, who the hell is Brad Zaxson? So uh, Brad Zaxson is a guy who found his way into New York real estate in the 1980s and fairly quickly became something of a protege to Fred Trump. His name started getting in local trade press because he had done such a good job of leasing out Fred Trump's outer boroughs. We're talking about the Fred Trump, President Trump. The Fred Trump, the, you know, the, right, the patriarch of the Trump family, mm -hmm. uh, you know, real estate baron of, of yesteryear. From then, you know, he's kind of stick, he's been around New York real estate sort of on the fringes, tried to get into development a few times, uh, but his name has been coming back into the spotlight recently due to his connections with Paul Manafort. Paul Manafort, the Paul Manafort, that former one. Trump campaign That's right. manager, now indicted. Uh, and what's the latest with him? Just a quick update on him. So the update on Paul Manafort is that he's been indicted on a combination of tax evasion, money laundering, and uh, failure to register as you know for lobbying work he was doing for um, foreign entities, uh, which has all been a part of you know this wide ranging investigation by Special Counsel Robert Mueller. Uh, into possible collusion between uh, Russians or you know Russian government connected individuals and the the Trump campaign during 2016. So Manafort and Zaxson uh, pair, appear to have met each other when they were neighbors in the Hamptons, mm -hmm. um, as one does more than a decade ago, yeah. right? They were involved first in some investments, as Zaxson is called non real estate, non real estate investments. Uh, Manafort had sort of a film investment business. Saxon said he was involved with that, but uh, eventually they come up with this really grand plan, uh, you know, a billion dollar redevelopment plan of the former Drake Hotel, mm -hmm. a site owned by the developer Harry Macklow. Today it's 432 Park. A decade ago it was, a, you know, a hotel that was going to get knocked down and turned into something very new. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's where they, they really get into real estate together. And it's really the only time that Paul Manafort appears to have ever been involved in a, you know, a large-scale development project. And, well, Manafort's a wheelie guy, and Zaxxon must have made his money wheeling and dealing over the years. But that kind of capital, you need someone heavier behind you, right? So they were going to a, a series of different investors. I think there was a large Qatari investor that was going to be involved. But, um, you know, most more interestingly was the money that they were depending on from uh, a Ukrainian oligarch named Dmitry Firtash. Mm -hmm who is actually the current time is, uh, I believe, wanted by the U.S. authorities in connection with uh, like a public corruption scheme uh, mm -hmm. involving tungsten investments in India, but involving U.S. LLCs that mm -hmm. are involved in transactions is quite complicated. Um, there was also some indication that another oligarch, uh, Oleg Deripaska, may have been uh, interested in making some investment mm -hmm. uh, as well. Um, this was all brought out by a, a civil lawsuit filed uh, a few years ago in New York court. But the investments never happened. They fell through. Um, the project did not go forward. Mm -hmm. And as we know, Harry Mack will eventually develop 432 Park at, at the scene. And did quite well with it. Yeah. So it sounds like Zaxxon's career has been a series of false starts. Grand, but, but ultimately false starts. The Drake deal didn't happen. Uh, and then, you know, Manafort went his own way, made millions of, mon millions of dollars essentially advising dictators and despots across the globe, as well as American companies. But recently, uh, Manafort and Zaxxon seem to have reconnected. They did. You know, Zaxxon had kind of been on our radar because he filed a $400 million lawsuit against the developer Kevin Maloney uh -huh. earlier this year. And we noticed that on his website for his company, it's called Dynamic, there's a series of photos posted, a, a meeting from the summer um, with a Chinese construction magnate named uh, Yan Ji, mm -hmm. uh, Zaxxon, and Paul Manafort. Now, this is in July when we, you know it's well known that the U.S. authorities are investigating Manafort for mm -hmm. you know alleged illegal actions and, and so on. And, and here they are in this room, appearing to do be doing some sort of business. Very unspecified what exactly they were meeting about, but but here they are. So that's what we started to ask questions. And about. this Chinese billionaire is someone who's looking to crack into the U.S. market. Potentially. This is a Chinese billionaire who is looking to invest in infrastructure around the world and who has been represented by Paul Manafort. Um, and Zaxxon, as we uh, came to understand, uh, agreed to you know, put, help put this meeting together with uh, architecture firm Perkins Eastman, environmental firm uh, called Langen mm -hmm. uh, in New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like actually at a Trump property. It was either Trump International or Trump Soho where they had the meeting there. They're drinking Trump branded water during the meeting. I didn't know meeting. it still existed. Trump branded water is still yeah. out there. Yeah. On this tour that Manafort was doing with um, 
with uh, Jiang Ji, the, the construction uh, mogul from China, it also, he also met with this construction company in Miami we saw through photos on, on Zaxxon's website. It's a company called Munia Construction, which actually has a contract to uh, build a school uh, for the military um, in Guantanamo Bay, mm -hmm. which was really interesting because it, it, you know, it had the appearance that you know, Paul Manafort was in, involved in perhaps brokering some sort of uh, you know, investment in, mm -hmm. uh, essentially by you know, second or third degree in you know, U.S. infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And that um, would be something that you know, the government might look into as a, as a potential because it's a military base, right? And it's, right. It's, it's, a, it, it's a foreign investor. Yeah. So um, you know, all of a sudden Brad Zaxxon seems to be you know, uh, up close and personal with some, potentially some huge deals where you know, a Chinese company to acquire this construction company with a, you know, an important infrastructure contract mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.